Yo, what up traders? Green day, green day. There's gonna be two day trading days in one video. Uh, I traded yesterday, lost about 55 bucks. And as you see in the thumbnail today, May 77. And I'm gonna start posting three videos a week. Schedule is gonna be like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Only if I miss a day will I post one the next day. But I'm posting every day, I probably won't do that. But anyway. Okay, so this is yesterday's action. T-R-Y, T-R-Y. I'm gonna take a pre-market trade. I know, I know, I broke, I broke some. Actually, no, I'm, I didn't take a pre-market trade. So anyway, here I'm gonna jump in here, but my stop's gonna be too tight, and I won't. I probably won't day trade Tilray again, even though this is a hot stock going up. But the float is 447 million. Uh, that's the float. So you know, a lot of breakouts ain't clean stuff that look like stuff that look like it's going to fall. And it doesn't fall. It's just I just couldn't get a good read on it. And I'm thinking because the float was so high. And look look how thick the level two is. So so I'm in that uh, five uh, seven seventy five five hundred shares. And I'm gonna just get sketched out. It's not it's not bouncing. Sorry about my tape. My my screen going in and out like that. I don't know why it's doing that. Dang, I hope it. I don't know why it's doing that. But so I'm in that five seventy five. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get out like. It just, the bid just went to 574, and I didn't like how it lost that. But that's that's just the market maker screwing you, man. So I'm down. My first trade, I'm down thirty dollars on the day. And look at the rip. Look at that rip. That'd have been that'd have been a hundred dollar day right there. And I'm still waiting for that one trade, hundred dollar day. Still waiting for it. But I just wanted to show you this action here. I just just uh my my tight my stop was too tight right there. Go to the next trade. So next trade here, same stock. I don't know why I kept all this in there. So next trade here, I'm gonna play. Uh, I like this setup here. I like this setup. Um, you see how there are no wicks here. There are no wicks here, right? At this setup, but I get in too early. This is a nice setup, nice breakout over the 770 level. But I got in too early, and um, I get chopped up, and I uh, end up selling for a loss. And then, like, think like six minutes, seven minutes later, it's, it ripped up past it. So, just didn't time that one. That's all. Just trying to play like the previous candles low as a, as a, a stop a stop loss level. And I'm, I'm looking at the three. I'm looking at three minute chart right now, and I'm trying to play like the VWAP as a stop loss level. So, I'm in that seven sixty nine, and it looks like it's going to like it looks like it's. it's just, I'm saying this is a good setup, but it's just too early. It's up there five hundred shares too, and I traded. I traded four times yesterday. Um, my last trade came towards the end of the day. Like I did three trades and I was done the day. Took the last trade at the end, so uh, it's, it's in the video. So 766 is a wall red tape. Not looking good. So that right there is already sketching me out. Like this is a good setup. It should have broke out already. Like 770, that wall, it should it should have cleared out. It should have got up there. But no breakout, 770 wall, again, nothing. So I keep a tight stop on this too. I think I, I, it's a real tight stop. The, the previous, I'm looking at the one minute I played, I stopped out at the previous candles low. So there I lost five cents. Now I'm down $61 on the day total, $50 unrealized. All right, so this is my last trade from, from yesterday, and this is an afternoon trade. And um, this is, uh, this is a nice little trade. Uh, this is like... It's, it's gonna rip up. I'm getting a nice play because I like look. This is why I like this trade. I like these wicks down here, right? We already got some support. One right there, one right there. The VWAP's down here, but really this last candle, the three minute. Look at that wick, and then look at the one minute wick. See that body like that, and then it pushed up like that, and got the little small body, little what's that? What's that? What's that called? A uh, freaking I don't know what that's called. Hammer, pin bar, I don't know. But I like when the candle looks like that. So. I'm gonna get a breakout. It's just setting up for a breakout. I like when it kind of looks out like looks like that. SBMF man, and it was a good stock even today when I traded it. Um, I made my money on it, and the stock ripped up some more. But I was done. I didn't want to keep trading. I made my money. Got the hell on. So here, I'm just waiting for the tape to like do some like right now. The tape is slow and slug. There's no activity going on. I'm, I'm waiting for the tape. To see some activity, I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for traders. There we go, some greens coming in. I'm looking for other traders to to, to switch to the stock and start trading it, cause it, cause of this setup. It's a nice setup. And then you're gonna see the level two axe. It's gonna jump up. See, I just skipped up five cents there, so I jumped in there. It's, I jumped in there. I 
pretty early. I jumped the gun in there. It, it was low volume. It's kind of why it skipped up like that. But that's still bullish that it, that it did that. So I jumped in there at 655. Still low volume. It uh my stop was probably going to be 650 or 649, just how the stock was looking. So yeah. As of right now, I'm down 80 bucks yesterday. Like I was those three trades that I took, I lost all three of my trades earlier, and I was down about 80 bucks yesterday. This is my last trade I took for from yesterday, like a little three o'clock afternoon action. And uh I get some of my money back. And then this stock ripped up some more. I just I just I just want to get my money in and get out. So you see that bid prop at 655? That's when I, I was confident there. Like, let me go back, show you guys. You're gonna see a bid prop here at 655. You're gonna, what? You're gonna see like a lot of bids at 655 here on the, on, the, on the blue level, on the level two. Well, I think I just missed it. Okay, here you go. Right there. You see that right there? That 55? See that? I I knew I felt like I, I knew I was gonna get that rip when I saw that. I like it. So I held on to it. Could have got way more than that because it ripped all the way up to um, $7. So I could have got a 50 cent move, but I just took that. So I ended up losing $55.85 yesterday. That's my red day. Okay, today's action here. Let me pause it. So I didn't take no... Uh, did I take a trade? Yeah, I did. I took one trade pre-market and I took one trade after. But here's my pre-market trade. So this is a nice setup too. Now this isn't now this is the setup I'm talking about is a squeeze. Look where we at. Look where we at on the chart. Look where the price is at on the chart. Is that a support level? This is a strong support level. Look at this. Look all these look all these these candles never went below. Got this one here. Never really went below that six ninety five level, seven dollar level. So shorts are going to are going to start squeezing if that level doesn't crack soon. Like it's not and it's not going to crack soon. And um, I, I, I captured the squeeze. I didn't trade it because I don't trade breakouts like that. I'm starting getting better at trading them. But here's a little squeeze play. The, the stock's going to do my strategy. I'm going to take a trade based on my strategy. But uh, I just want to show you the squeeze. Right now, there's no action. No action. But uh, somebody's going to kick off the squeeze. I don't know if it's a short guy. I don't know if a guy that shorted the stock started covering or somebody came on here with big money and started buying up the stock and all the shorts started panicking. That's why they, they started covering. So you're gonna see the squeeze on the pickup. And I might even include this in a in my in another another example of a squeeze play. Cause this is gonna be a good squeeze. Seven tens, green print. We got green. Look at there's like no red. Good indication. It's just that the tape is so slow, there's no volume right now. 706 bid prop. Look at the 706 bid prop. That's bullish. That's bullish to me. When I see that, that's bullish to me. But just because you see that, don't act on that. You still have this, the stock still has to go up fast and stay up and hold the levels. So right now it's no action. I know this is boring tape right now, but I'm just showing you when the squeeze will start to pick up. Okay, we lost 706 is back on the bid. Can he can he stay there? Because it was just propping up right there. Can he stay? <coughs> See, the longer that is taking, it's just like if you're long, the longer that is taking a stock to go up, the higher the chance that it's going to go down. Same if you're a short, if, you, if you're trying to do a short, the longer it's taking for the stock to, to break down and go down, the more likely it's going to reverse and go up. Especially if you're trying to chase a short right here at these lows right here. You know, I wouldn't, if I was short, I would not be chasing this. So, just wait for the squeeze. Let me, uh, before I watch this, I don't know what's taking so long with this. Let me, uh, so there we go. It's, it's pulling back. Some volume's coming. All right. On this candle here is when the squeeze. Over. Let, me, let me run it back. So, all right. So, we got this candle here. No volume. No volume. No volume. And why I say it's no volume? Because the tape's not moving. So that's no volume. So somebody came in and cut on their computer, cut on, turn, logged to their broker, and they bought up the stock. And there we go. There's the squeeze. It's starting to come. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, right? Look at that. The tape just started getting busy. Look at the level two. It's more activity, more activity. I like that. So now we're getting volume. This is a volume. 
Shorts are getting squeezed. Look at this squeeze here. Squeeze. Look at that. I like see. I don't play them like that. I didn't know a squeeze was coming. I was. I was. I, I felt like a squeeze was going to come. I just didn't know when. But I wish I'd have just. I wish I'd along that. I wish I'd along that at like seven twenty, man. I wish I'd along that. Get better at you know trading breakouts, man. I need to get better at that. Cause some days that's all that's working. Like some days my strategy, which is the pullback, it like it nothing holds. But you get a breakout, you know. So you get a breakout, and you wait like me. Sometimes that break it won't hold, and you'll get dumped on on my strategy. So the one minute is already showing another candle, but I'm waiting for the uh, three minute to uh, show another candle. See, it's picking up some more. Squeeze is still happening. It's picking up. Now more people are looking at the stock. More people are uh, more interested in the stock. Got a wall at 750. And if we get to that wall at 750, even nice, even the, even the better squeeze. Look at all that green. Look at all that green going through, y'all. It is it's acting heavy up here because the axe won't stay up. It just it just skipped up. 744, that's 749, 46 now. 746 is on the axe, 48. So this looks bullish. This looks it looks like it wants to break out. Somebody's trying to hold it down, but it they're not gonna hold it down for long. The bids are not crashing like fast enough. So we get some pullback here, a little pullback. I'm just right now. I'm just going over some tape reading and just looking at this. This is, this is a squeeze play. I want you guys to watch. Start getting used to seeing squeezes. Nice setup for a squeeze too. So it's still pushing up. Green, green, green. It's going to get. It's going to get through 750. There it goes. Got through 750. Still didn't take a trade because that was a weak breakout of 750. Look, why well, was a weak breakout and I didn't take a trade because resistance. This is where the stock was having trouble before. From here, it only popped to 765. So this is resistance here. So it got through 750. Now red's coming through on the tape. Why? Because it's resistance. All right. Got through it though. Let's push it up. It's coming back down now. Can it hold a 750? So it's hold it's holding. It helped. It's holding. But I didn't take that first trade out. I need to dip a little lower than that. I need to dip a little lower. If it's you know, like give it a, no, just don't rush into the trade. Just let it see what it's gonna do first. Give it a little bit of time. So there it goes now holding 750. It's dumping the wall at 750. Now I'm looking to see if 750 will reclaim. Like if we get past. So that right there was bullish to me. I jumped in there at 753. 750 reclaim. And my stop was the low of that candle, which is 746. And I jumped in with 300 shares here because it was pre-market and I didn't trust the volume. So, you know, and I, I didn't want to get shaken out of my position with a with 500 shares. So, took that off. I only made five cents. It was acting it was acting heavy up here, 765 level. So, that trade for the day, I'm on my first trade. I'm up eight dollars and thirty cents. And this is my last trade of the day, the open. I can't wait to nail one trade, a hundred dollars. At the open, now, it's, it's going to come soon. So anyway, you see, see what, see what the stock's doing. It's teeter totter here at this VWAP support level here. Uh oh, it just broke it, but it came back, jumped in at 725. It was a wall at 725, I know, but I was looking at the chart and I like what the chart was doing. Stack up at 711, got a nice rip. Boom, look at that rip. I was trying to get 745, man. I was trying to get it, but then look at the wall. See, the wall started coming. 746. I took it off. It was acting, it was acting real weak up there, man. Real weak, real weak. So I made $77.32 today. It's Money Games. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.